Hello, everybody. This is going to be our second let's play. My second let's play. Our second let's play. Uh, mine. <laughs> As you can hear, I'm not alone today. I will be having a partner with me. A partner as in meaning I'm playing this game until I get pissed off and make you do it for a while. And I'll be adding commentary as well. So it should be fun. And from the title screen you can say we are playing a... Eternal Darkness <laughs> Sanity's Requiem. It's a GameCube game from 2002 as you can probably see on the trademark copyright thing at the bottom. So it's yeah. an old one but I, it's still one of my favorites so I think you'll all enjoy it because it is still one of the scariest. I parts. don't like the sounds. I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should I start? Uh, okay, I have to use... Oh, uh, Jesus. How do I... Press A to continue. Oh, okay. Oh, what? No, no, I don't want to do that. No. No. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, Good. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. Hey, how do I spell magical on here? Because I'm used to being spoken. This where it all began so long ago. Not without a key. No, the way they spell it. Okay. I am Dr. Edward Voynis. I am a clinical psychologist. I am <laughs> no, this is Savior spelled backwards. So stupid. This is not my story. Not even the story oh, of the so world is so creative. Oh my god, wow. It is the story I'm totally creative. Why don't I think about it? Oh my god. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you I think it's technically skeletal. No, I'm thinking of Ripley, believe it or not. But simply can't. Whatever, I like this game, so I'm gonna forgive it. <laughs> I am really disappointed because I found out recently the sequel for this game got cancelled recently. Oh my god, can we go kick someone's butt? Uh, yeah, let's kick them. Oh, that looks so gross. Stupid, stupid family. Disown them. They're gonna Their say attention turns to my granddaughter. I hate her hair. For she is the last of my life. Who? And yeah. the last one for humanity. But it's still gross. Like she's got roots and everything. That's disgusting. <laughs> Girl, you need to get your hair, dude. Oh no, the opening thing. How? Do, what are my controls again? Um, R to aim, A to shoot. Ah. Uh, Die. Just shoot him in the head or the chest. Wherever it works. I'm just gonna shoot him in general. Get down! Get down! Two for like... one! Oh no, wait. Yeah, you oh, ran out of ammo. No! Now what? Can I smack him with it? I no. can't use it as a melee weapon. Do I have to die? Yeah. No. I'll just run. And that's when you get a flashlight. Or that. That works too. That's quite bright. Ghostly apparitions of your family is the best way to the them. light bulb. I thought there was a phone in the house. <laughs> three, three, three. Who sleeps with a ponytail? This is bull. They didn't want to redo the character animation. Well, they should have put a hair stuck to begin with. Yes, Alex, Edward Gordon. Um, yeah, who's this? This is an inspector in the glass in the law out of the police. I'm sorry to disturb you. He's not sorry. Accident. Yeah. She doesn't even ask what happened. She's like, oh, I'll, just, I'll be right there. No details. I'm just going to no. show up, then you can tell me what happened. <laughs> so Once stupid. I get there, in Rhode yeah. Island, all the way across the country. Ah, uh, Miss Royce, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? No. Yes, I suppose so. I'll see, I agree with her on that one. Most unpleasant. Well, flight meal was it's terrible. I hit it. Keep the movie. You play stands. something with Madonna in it. Yes, I don't even know if she acts. Can we get this movie? Madonna? Be bad. Of course. I don't like Kim here. I don't care. <laughs> I don't like to reference somebody out in, in real life. Well, I'm afraid there's not much to see. Three, two, one. Yes. And that is quite enough to see if you ask me, actually. That yeah. is more than enough. That is more than enough. Of In fact, I'd like to see a lot less of that. <laughs> how would. Doesn't even have a head, does he? Yes. No. Well, then how does she. He's wearing our family ring. Well, someone could have just put on another body. <laughs> Logic is lost on this game. Yes, but those clothes, are you kidding me? Why are you showing me this? Can't you 
He doesn't have. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Perfect bitch. I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no hair. How could you not Don't see that from looking at it on the floor, honestly? There's a blanket on the floor. You could see the spot where there's a missing head. <laughs> I'm trying to defend her. I really am. Well, it's not working. I will really punch holes in all of your ideas. <laughs> but they're my ideas. I don't care. Oh, fine. Yes, I'm just going to uproot my life, not go back to work. You know. You don't have anything, do you, really? Except condolences. Two weeks. Later, Indeed. shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. Aren't she decides to search incompetent? the mansion. I'm li talking, shush. The place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past, and possibly a tie to his murderer, it would be there. Okay, why doesn't... This is not your job, lady. Like, seriously? This is really dark. TV. Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah. I'll turn the brightness up I on the TV. I can't see anything except lamps. There's a lamp. I love lamps. I love lamps. All the lamps. Oh, where was I supposed to go first? A room, I probably. Search. I can't go upstairs, I think, because the upstairs is locked, which is not good. Is that upstairs? No. You're making this very difficult for me. I hope you I'm know. trying to figure her where the brightness is. Oh, that's not it. Oh, let's see. Open door. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Oh, shh. No whispering. No. All the whispering. No, none of it. Absolutely none of that. Oh, this one's locked too. Wonderful. That's great. You don't have any keys? Oh, no. I regret doing that already. No, that was a bad choice. If it's open, that means I have to go in there. No! God damn it. Oh, this room is light. I like this room. I like this room. Uh, is there anything I can touch in here? I don't know. I don't know. That is a really scary looking thing. Who is so rich that they can have like a giant telescope in their room? What is this? Oh, do I have to? I'm not doing anything with that. What's that? It's your opinion with everything in these games. That's my opinion with everything. Fuck that. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck you. As you watch again, home, we'll soon find out. <laughs> What's this? Oh, she's beautiful. Not really. GameCube graphics. Ah! Funny. It's funny because it's true. It is. What's in here? Book? I don't care. Oh, I thought that was something else. That was just her. Get into shape, girl. Come on. It helps if you weren't wearing heels, to be quite honest. Is she wearing heels? I never really noticed. It sounds like she's wearing heels. You know, GameCube graphics and all. I'm a girl, I know these things. <laughs> ah, rooms and such. Nope, that's the kitchen. I can't go in there, and I do not want to go in there. Oh no, I can go in there. Oh no. No, no, no. What room was I supposed to go in first? Uh, you were in the right room. It was this one right but, here. But, uh, you need to... What do I need to examine do? ...examine more objects. Oh, I think there was a... I'm sorry, I'm just opening and closing doors here. This is really annoying. I'm pretty sure. No, that's just a clock. No. Should I look at the key? No. Logically, I probably shouldn't. Am I going to anyway to make progress? Yes. Oh, a dresser key. Who locks their dresser? What do you have important in there? Like some really nice lingerie? No, he's an old man. I should hope not. Teach their own, though. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. Dresser key. I have two keys. Oh, lock I don't really care. Dresser key, second floor key. When did I get that? You started off with it already in your inventory. Oh. Well, that would have been nice to know. Do I have to go upstairs now? No, it breaks as soon as you try to open Does the Does it seriously? Door. Let's go break it then. No, I'll do that later. Uh, what room am I supposed to go on now? Is it the end here? No. No. I forget where I'm supposed to go. I'm just running around here. How many? Examine me? more objects. Okay. Not in this room. <laughs> well, clearly. In this room? No. no. Um, further back in the study, I believe. I is this still in the study? I don't even know. This yeah, is a huge ass study. It looks like a library to me. This is a severely misnamed room. Well, the, his, her grandfather was like a psychologist. 
So it doesn't mean you get to have a whole damn library for a study. I don't know. Well, that's an old house. You're an old house. Okay. Oh, is it that clock? I don't want to do this. Oh, I bet it's 3.33. No. Nope. Can you let me do this? Yes, I will. Just going to keep going until something happens. Something Too good. Far. You have to, like, stop right on it. Oh, do I have to? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. What time is it supposed to be at? Can I go too far the other way? 333, you were right. Ah. Not only is it in the opening cutscene, but it's also on the clock that you... I don't know how to do this see. kind of clock. You went way too far again. I don't know how to do this. Small it. hand on the three. Oh, jeez. I use digital clocks. I don't know what's bullshit. But yeah, it was also on the clock you got the uh, dresser. I wasn't paying attention to that. I was getting okay. the dresser here. Keep going, keep going. Keep Almost there. Almost there. Uh. No, the other way. Keep, no. Yeah. <laughs> this is way too hard. Keep going. How far do I have to go? There. Oh. If I kept spinning, something would have happened eventually. Oh, I remember this room. I remember this room. I don't like it in this room. No, I do not. I'm gonna go in here anyway. Her hair! Oh my god! Oh, and that's the... When you walk into a room and you see everything all disheveled like this, if you see a book about yay big, don't touch it, don't look at it, do not pass go, do not collect $200, run the other way, <laughs> collect the insurance, like the life insurance or whatever you got, to do that, don't do this. But Alex is an idiot, so we're going to do it anyways, and we're going to read this leather-bound antique book that rests upon a decluttered desk. Stupid bitch. You know, this makes girls look really stupid. No, see, that's when you stop. That is when you stop. If you've already touched it and something like that happens, you just go away. Don't. See, she's like falling off her chair and she's going to read it again. Look at that! She's very determined. She's stupid, that's what she no, is. No one cares. No one will also change you. Excellent. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. Nope. Don't do it. Too, Stop reading. You will come to understand. What is this, like a graphic novel or something? Is this like a novelization of Gilmore Girls? Put it down! The thinking that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. I much to prefer our reality to this one. <laughs> much prefer it. My life now has purpose. For I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. Thank you, first I was once a fool. You still are, to be quite honest, good sir. You are still a fool. This oh, those graphics. Hot damn. Aren't those the sexiest German soldiers that were rendered on TV? Oh, definitely. <laughs> So now they decide to do an English translation of it. Yeah. Midway. Do you believe that it really exists, Andrew? Do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs. Doubt it. Or his orders. Doubt it. If we are to retrieve the Earth. Don't do it. We must be strong. And patient. I really don't have any patience, so this isn't gonna work out too well. Another tip. Disembodied voice starts yeah. calling you. Don't go to it. No, don't. Oh. Lovecraft has taught me that. Never go to it. Man, that would be slowly off. Honestly, with that voice, you might think that Zolotoff would be even mildly attractive, but, uh, nope. Nothing in this game is attractive, it's on GameCube. <laughs> It's an early GameCube game. Later, every GameCube game. No, better. every GameCube game has terrible graphics. No, not every one. My favorite GameCube game was um, Zelda Wind Waker, and you could see enemies to the other side of the wall if you went up against it properly. Well, that's just a glitch. That's not a you know, look. Like that's just GameCube game. Star Fox wasn't bad, actually. Wonderful! Alright. 
Well, now we we're at the 15 minute mark, so I think we will stop the recording here. Yeah, uh, so this is a bit boring. It's kind of the intro part, but yeah. the next part I'll actually do things and kill things and not run out of ammo. And Well, you can't run out of ammo because you have a sword. You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, check us back in part two. Bye.